Hello there. Much of Europe has been under the influence of a cold Arctic air mass over recent days, but things are turning a little bit milder for many of us, particularly over the next few days. Could well turn colder once again into next week as well. But some slightly milder air working in from the southwest across southern parts of the UK, France, Germany, towards Poland, for instance, as well. Wet weather, meanwhile, with some heavy showers pushing towards parts of Portugal and Spain. Still some further snow showers lingering for parts of Turkey over the mountains and brisk northerly winds blowing through the Aegean on Friday, but Greece looking still a little cooler than we'd expect for the time of year, but largely dry and settled. Some sunshine across Italy as well, not as cold as it has been for Switzerland, Austria, up towards Germany as well, but still unsettled for Scandinavia with some heavy snow and some fairly windy conditions working in there. Colder air heading across the UK, that will sink further south through the course of the weekend. But on Saturday, there will be some wet weather across parts of northern France, southern parts of the UK, and still once again affecting Portugal and Spain as well. But it is looking that little bit drier and less chilly than it has been further east across Europe. So some cool weather on the cars and quite unsettled for London and for Paris over the next couple of days. Thunderstorms should clear away from Madrid though as we head through into next week. Still plenty of showers in the forecast for Berlin, but it will turn a little bit warmer gradually in Athens. Bye for now. Hello. We've seen some severe storms with isolated tornadoes and large hail pushing across parts of Louisiana and Mississippi over the past 24 hours or so, all down to this area of low pressure with its associated active cold front pushing its way eastwards. That risk of severe storms will be fairly marginal through the course of Thursday, but there could be some storms heading across parts of Alabama, for instance, towards Georgia as well. To the north of that, we've got this low pressure pushing towards the Great Lakes, so turning wetter and windier there, drier and pretty warm with an elevated fire danger risk for portions of the southwest. Meanwhile, low pressure heading in across parts of Alaska into British Columbia. A bit of a, a drier day to come for Vancouver, though, in between those weather systems. Still quite cool around portions of the west, but largely dry, settled and fine across California. There is that enhanced fire danger, though, for parts of New Mexico and western Texas as well. Relatively cool weather holding on for Vancouver and Seattle over the next couple of days. But it's warmer in the northeast. We've got warm air for the likes of Montreal and New York, so temperatures about 10 degrees or so above average here. Quite a bit of dry weather down the east coast on Thursday, but move further inland and we have got those storms, could be some thunderstorms, potential for some large hail, possibly an isolated risk of a tornado, but it is only a marginal risk. Temperatures are remaining on the warm side for Montreal and New York, with some thunderstorms heading towards Atlanta. Bye-bye. Hello there. There's some fairly heavy rain in the forecast across some portions of South America over the coming few days. Firstly, we've got quite a lot of shower cloud in the north affecting the likes of Venezuela towards Suriname too, and also an area of low pressure developing here through central Argentina. And that's going to bring some heavy rain pushing slowly northwards up towards Buenos Aires through the day on Thursday. That will head towards Uruguay by the end of the week as well. But further north, we have got those enhanced heavy showers affecting southern Venezuela, towards Suriname, Guyana and French Guiana as well. Largely dry towards Recife, 30 Celsius here, but a few scattered showers around the east coast of Brazil. Rio de Janeiro, largely dry, I think, on Thursday, 29 degrees here. Then as we head further south, there is that band of heavy rain pushing northwards across some central and northern parts of Argentina. A little bit drier, though, towards Patagonia than it has been recently. Buenos Aires will continue to see those storms through Friday and Saturday. It's a little bit cooler than it has been, but then next week it does look a little bit drier. For much of Mexico, some sunny spells, one or two scattered showers cropping up during the afternoon, a few of those showers down towards Nicaragua, Guatemala and Honduras as well, and a few scattered showers through central parts of the Caribbean. But I think Cuba remains largely dry with temperatures in Havana up to around 31 Celsius. But there will be more of those heavy showers and thunderstorms arriving in Havana by the weekend. Bye bye. Hello there. Thanks for joining me for this look at the weather across Africa and the Middle East too. Now we'll start with Africa. Here's the satellite image. We have had quite a lot of shower clouds through central equatorial regions. We'll continue to see some showers here, particularly heavy, I think, around the Gulf of Guinea on Friday and also towards the east across portions of Tanzania, down towards northern Mozambique and Madagascar as well. Further north across Africa, a northerly wind starting to develop, blowing across parts of Egypt. So a colder day to come for Cairo and those 
winds will start to pick up some dust and some sand across the Sahara region through the course of the weekend into early next week as well. Cape Town, meanwhile, looking dry and settled, and those temperatures will be on the rise over the next five days or so. Nairobi seeing a few spots of a patchy rain at times. For Khartoum, still sunny and dry, but things are turning a little less hot as we move through the next five days or so. One or two isolated showers at times for Kinshasa. It's been pretty warm across the Levant, but we have got colder air that's going to start to work in from the Mediterranean across Syria and Lebanon, bringing some dusty conditions with some blustery, gusty winds at times, and that will gradually transfer further southwards and eastwards across the Middle East as we head through the weekend into early next week. But I think for the here and now, most places largely dry, settled, and still quite warm as well. But temperatures in both Riyadh and in Kuwait will drop through the weekend. Bye bye. Hello there. We're going to see some high temperatures over the next few days across parts of Central Asia. Meanwhile, for India, there's been a bit of cloud here just sitting off the southwest coast. That's shower cloud. It will continue to bring some fairly light and well scattered showers to parts of Kerala, Goa as well through the course of Thursday. They're largely going to be easing away through the course of the night. Some heavier showery rain though developing in the far northeast of India and across Bangladesh as well. Meanwhile, it's not quite as hot as it has been recently for the likes of New Delhi and Nagpur as well. But the heat continuing into Central Asia, Ashgabat at around about 32 Celsius on Friday. A little bit of showery rain for northern parts of Kazakhstan, but largely dry and settled for Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan and across Afghanistan and Pakistan as well. Lots of sunshine, a hot day, 38 degrees in Karachi there. Just a few of those scattered showers on Friday lingering around the west coast, but many places avoiding them. And for Sri Lanka, sunny spells and a few heavy afternoon showers bubbling up. There'll be more showers as we work our way across West Bengal, Bangladesh, and particularly up towards Assam and Bhutan. There could be some localised flooding in the vicinity. Here's the outlook then. It's a largely dry one for Mumbai, Dakar and Islamabad. Colombo will continue to see that threat of showers on and off for the next five days or so. Tashkent turning a little bit cooler than it has been recently. Dry for Karachi, New Delhi and Chennai. Bye-bye. Hello there. Tropical cyclone Siroja that brought some flooding to East Timor through the weekend has been strengthening as it pushes its way south in towards the southeast Indian Ocean. There's another tropical cyclone in the vicinity of that. They may well interact and potentially head towards Western Australia by the end of the weekend. More on that in a moment. Further north though, high pressure holds on across the Korean Peninsula and also for the northeast of China, so lots of dry weather. For Japan, a fairly cool northwesterly airflow brings some snow showers to Hokkaido, northern Honshu as well. A pretty cool air in place for Taipei and Hong Kong. 18 degrees here under the cloud with some outbreaks of rain. Warmer further south with some heavy showers across much of Indonesia. Now here's the outlook for the next five days or so. Osaka will start to warm up a little bit into next week. Could be a few heavy showers in Bangkok, particularly through the course of the weekend. Now across Australia, we've got that potential for tropical cyclones to push south and make landfall late on Sunday across parts of Western Australia. A lot of dry weather on Friday, cooler than it has been for the likes of Adelaide down towards Hobart as well. And for New Zealand, we're holding on to the largely dry and bright weather on Friday, but the winds will increase ahead of some rain that's going to sweep in from the west during the course of the weekend. So Perth could well see some heavy downpours through the course of Sunday and into Monday. That's something we're keeping quite a close eye on. Bye-bye.